was miserable. I was depressed. I couldn't do anything. Here, I thought I was alone. And I wasn't. My name is Julie Mills. I'm an ER physician at Weezer Memorial Hospital. And this is my story. My grandpa's a big fisherman. He used to always have us up at 5.30 in the morning, out in the boat, and out catching perch. And later in the fall, I would end up going out and go hunting with my dad. And I was so fascinated by looking at the organs of this deer and the organs of the fish when I claimed them that I just knew that the direction in my life was probably gonna head toward medicine. Yeah, sports have been a big part of my life, running, getting into mountain biking. Those were just my stress relief. You know, I could take time away from sitting at the books and go burn some energy. And... So from 2009 to 2011, I became very intense into racing. I think it totaled four half Ironman, 12 half marathons, and one full marathon in two years. And it was in April of 2011, and I felt this pain in my right hip. It just wouldn't really go away. It was then that I knew I probably had a labral tear. I come out of my surgery and the muscles were firing. I couldn't even stand on that hip. I knew that there's something that's really wrong and it's not working. And I ended up on crutches after that first surgery until 14 weeks. If there's one thing I could say to anybody is how important disability insurance is. Once I got into the long-term disabilities when I really started to talk with Joan at Sun Life. I was still having problems, my hip was miserable. It was determined that I probably require another surgery. I had the hopes that this was going to take me back into my normal life. Didn't quite get off crutches in three to four weeks. It didn't seem that the complications had quite resolved. And I ended up receiving a, a letter in the mail that was a termination from work. In my heart, it sunk. I thought I'm not gonna be able to pay my bills, I'm not gonna be able to pay for my house. And then Joan called me. She told me that I was working when the disability started, when I had my job in place, and therefore my insurance would continue. And I had tears immediately. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. And I told her, I said, you have no idea what you just did to me and the fear that you took away. But I told Joan, I can't stand being off work. I'm grateful, I'm totally thankful for you guys um, having that for me, I said, but I, I need you to know that I want to get back to work. And I need you to believe me. She could hear it in me and she knew it. This was what's helping me get there. When my hip finally started to heal, um, they actually put me in a vocational rehab program. They paid for my course, they paid for my flight, they paid for my lodging, they paid for the transportation. I could feel those muscles coming back. I just took off. The pain had gone. I have no more pain. So I was interviewing, for the most part, a lot of places in Colorado. I really didn't want to leave Colorado. I love the mountains. And so it was three years after of dealing with my hip and I'm out interviewing. And here I am in Idaho and it's beautiful green rolling mountains. So I'm like, hmm, I could handle this. And they were very willing in Idaho to work with me and so that everybody was comfortable with me restarting. But uh, my moving bills were over the expenses that the hospital had allowed. And I talked with Joan at Sun Life and I said, is there any possible way that you guys could help me with this financially as well? They've approved it and thanks to Sun Life, the next thing you know, I'm in Idaho. I just can't believe what Sun Life has done for me. They're forever in my heart.